think out of all the pieces of sports equipment that you could pick. Baseball gloves are the ones where you can see the definitive change in the evolution over time. The evolution of the baseball glove and the innovations that went along to making it a useful contraption to the players, it's, it's an interesting story. For the most part, gloves were not used in the early part of baseball until the late 1870s, early 1880s. Back then in the 1880s or so, a lot of people would just make their own homemade gloves. They would take something that they would use on the railroad or you know, working around a factory, and then uh, a lot of times they would cut the tips of the fingers off just to give them a little bit more feel on the ball. Going up and through the you know, 1930s and into the 40s, the gloves got larger. They did experiment with different webs. Into the 1950s, we start seeing the fingers being laced together to create more of a, a pocket and allowing players to squeeze the glove a little bit better so they wouldn't necessarily have to use two hands to catch the ball. The birth of the modern glove, in my opinion, was late 50s. There was two gloves that came out, uh, the Wilson A2000, which is still in production today, and Rawlings also came out with the TG12, which is a trapeze web glove. At FC Goods, our purpose has always been to support the legacy of American workmanship that supports America's game. Brett Lohman is one of the greatest glove collectors in the world. His knowledge of baseball, as told through the evolution of the glove, made so much sense for FC Goods as far as choosing someone to partner with. We met Brett in early 2018. Not only did he share his knowledge with us, he also shared his collection, allowing us to release a line of wallets made from the vast supply of his vintage baseball gloves. They sold out almost immediately. FC Goods has great quality items. There's definitely a lot of care that goes into the production of it. I definitely appreciate that. So for this year's Lohman series, we produced and manufactured 125 limited edition wallets. Each made almost entirely from a glove in Lohman's collection. And in fact, we're excited to announce that we're devoting an annual series to him and his collection. Gloves, they get used to the point where you can't use them anymore and then people will throw them away or discard them. So I'm sure quite a few of them ended up in the landfill. I'm sure a lot of them ended up as dog toys. So if you repurpose it into something such as a wallet, something that they can have on their person at any time that they wish, they have a connection to that past and they can carry it with them and appreciate it and enjoy it.